Oh, snap. What's up, man? Here we are. Mm. Chilling in the basement and uh, taking your calls. You see the phone number? 513-813-7979. That'll get you uh, on here uh, with me, okay? Constantine? Is that you? Hello? Maybe he's not there. Connie? Did I lose you, buddy? Call back, Bubba. Sorry about that. I thought I had Connie on here. Uh, so the phone number, you see it. Hit me up, and you know the deal. I'm going until about 8.30. Call stop. I stop up in this biatch. All right. What's up, man? Oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Hold on, everybody. Mm. I guess party people can't hear me in this shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, I don't know. Maybe they're not hearing me up on this. Oh, I think I know what it is. We'll just... Uh, Change this shit. And then uh, pick up lives. Yo, yo. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> this is typical horse shit. It's been a long time since I've done this, so everybody's going to have to chill, I guess. Tonight, um, Blake has something he wants to call and uh, and uh, talk about. This is exciting for uh, anybody who uh, listens to the radio radio show. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, while I try to fix this shit, I'll uh, take a sip of my drink. Mm. Mm -mm. That's weird. It says it's uh. It's playing through, but I guess it's not today. Maybe something's up. I'm going to just refresh this shit. Oh. Okay. I should have done the technical uh, stuff before I uh, came on here tonight. Let me refresh this shit, and then we'll see what happens, right? Uh, Let's see. Call Cancer Beth. I don't want to call Cancer Beth. That's a sad story. If you don't know, uh, the word is, is that, well, I mean, she doesn't know yet. Okay. She doesn't know yet if she's got uh, cancer and stuff, but, uh, uh, Barry came on today and was telling us that it could be, which is a little scary. Mm. Uh, let's see. I can hear you. Yeah, I know people can hear me, but, uh, the phones aren't coming through. Let's try now. Constantine. Hello? Chris. Yeah. Oh, hi, Connie. Connie? Chris? Yeah. The fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah. Connie, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Well, Chris, because I, call, I called you and I said to myself, there must be something wrong. With your line, Chris. Yeah. Mine was a a okay, Chris. Yeah, it's all a okay. How you feeling, man? Yep. Um, okay, but I'll take her down, Chris. Since my mom passed, Chris. Yeah, Constantine. If you don't know, before the holiday, his mom passed away, and you had to move out of that house, huh? Yeah, because my brother he has depression, and he keeps on texting me, telling me, "Oh, come back home." I'll make it up to you, and everything's going to be okay, and brothers stick together. I said, no, nah, man, because if Fike back home, Chris, he's going to take a, uh, a knife, and he might point it at me, and and he might kill me, Chris. No. That's he, why I'm not going to take home. He would never do that. But So so he still lives in that house? Yeah, he still lives in that house because all by himself. 
Well, why don't you? You should move back in. No, I'm not moving back in with the Chris. The profession, Chris. I can't. I can't stand the profession by the house. The profession. He. He. He used to try to beat me up. He. He used to try to chase me with the with the bed night around the house, Chris. He used to do all kinds of stuff, Chris. No, I'm not going to put that phone. Well, well, Connie, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you're going through that, man. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm moving to put that in the power price, so I'm, I'm staying at his house. I don't have to pay electricity or, or water because he has a, uh, he has a, uh, he has a uh, trust fund. He and a, he has a, a trust a trust fund uh, officer who pays for his uh, his bills, Chris. Oh, I see. So you're staying at his house. He has a trust fund. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, it's kind of. I think it's cool that your brother still has that house. Hello, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, you, you said you said uh, it's kind of cool. I'm having a good thing because my brother a D I C K Chris. I know he's a dick, Chris. <laughs> well, listen. Yeah, he's right. That family has to stick together. So you got to stick together. No, Chris, 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 listen to me. He almost killed me with a knife. Like he he was trying to strangle me. He, he pushed me off the uh, chair and stuff, Chris. He has depression. I can't. I can't deliver with somebody that that's gonna push me off and, and all that stuff, Chris. He no, put, I can't do that, Chris. I don't understand. He pushed you off a chair. Yeah, he pushed me off the chair. He um, he punched me in the face a couple of times, Chris. He, he almost str strangled me. He had a knife that he he was gonna kill me with when, when my mom was still alive. So uh, so uh. So I used to uh, fight with him. So the problem is because I can't go back over there, Chris. All right. Well, listen, if you're not going to go, I mean, you got to hang in there, okay? People are on the thing. I uh, don't hang in there, Chris, because I got my b -b buddy Ray downstairs. He's taking my, he, he's, he's hikes it. He's, he's hikes me, Chris. Yeah, but what, what is Ray? How do you know Ray? Ray? I know him since, uh, since a kid. He, he uh, he's up the uh, street. I know oh. him. I know him for a long time, Chris. Oh, okay. All right. So, I mean, listen. I I I don't know. I I think you should be back with your brother in that house. Uh, but no, uh, Chris, Chris, Chris. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go back in that house where it's gonna be torture again, Chris. No, he has depression. Well, there's a, there's a guy in the chat room. His name is Connie's illegitimate kid. He's one of your kids that you have. That you blew off back in the day? Oh, who cares, Chris? Well, no, I, I don't no, care, Chris. I know, I know. You, Constantine has kids that he uh, doesn't take care of, right? R right, but I don't care about, about, about that, Chris. That's a long time ago. That's no, in the past. Yeah. Connie has how many kids? Uh, I think I had, what, like five kids, Chris? Yeah, yeah, five <laughs> kids. That's what we heard. He's got like five kids and he doesn't take care of them. Um and this guy, Connie's illegitimate kid, says that you shouldn't have to deal with this headache. It is kind of a pain in the ass, Connie. Yeah, he can say anything he wants to, but I'm not. I'm not paying for for uh, for the that 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 Chris. Yeah. Well, Connie, I mean, know what you need to do to get yourself yeah. to get yourself through all this. You got to go out and get some pussy. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, Chris Ray loves pussy. He has all kinds of uh. Playboy, Playboy books inside his room, Chris. Does Ray have girls come over? Uh no, no, no. He used to, uh, he used to, uh, he, he used to pass with, 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 with a lot of uh, girls, though, Chris. He used to what? He used to mess with a lot of girlies, Chris. Oh, he used to mac with them. Yeah, and yeah. he and he used to go down to that, uh, to that, uh, to that, uh, to that place, and he. And he used to watch the dirty movies, Chris. Oh, I see. Okay, but so how come we don't go yeah. hang out with him? Go, go to the, one of these these video booth places where you go in a booth and you jerk off watching dirty movies. Go with Ray. 
Yeah, I'll go with the best hand with one day, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Well, then it's like a... Yeah, we'll be back. It's McCann and Tice outside, Chris. Yeah. No, no, it's just you two that live there, or somebody else lives there with you? Uh, us two and his uh, cat, Chris. Oh, okay. Do you guys see each other yeah. naked? Ah, oh. uh, I see him naked so many, many, many times because he's getting out of bed, Chris. Yeah. Does he have a big penis? Yeah, he has a big penis, Chris. Yeah. He's fat, Chris. He's fat? Yeah. He's fat, but he has a big penis. That's good, though. Yeah. See, I'm fat with a little penis, and that that, that, that sucks. <laughs> do you ever show him, Do you ever show Ray your penis? I did it on a Sunday night when I came from my Turkish. Oh, I, uh, I I put down my uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, my uh, passes, Chris, and I accidentally showed him my. Uh, my penis, but he didn't say anything, Chris. Connie, it wasn't an accident, was it? Nah, it wasn't no uh, no accident, Chris. You wanted to show well, him. You, you I, wanted you wanted to show him that beautiful Constantine penis, didn't you? Yeah, because he always shows me his penis, Chris. Yeah, so you're like, damn it, I'm going to show him my beautiful Constantine penis. Yeah, he likes it. I mean, I mean, he's kind of a uh, gay, Chris. I mean. He's gay, but uh, he enjoys uh, he enjoys uh, Playboy books a lot. He lets me read his uh, Playbook, his Playboy books a lot, Chris. Yeah. So so say it, Connie. Pull like pretend you're pulling it out, and he'd be like, "Yeah, Ray, you love this Constantine dick." Go ahead and say it. Yeah, Ray, you love this uh, Constantine dick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Connie, man, you know what? I thought about you a lot over the holiday because, uh, you know, what happened with your mom right before Christmas and stuff. But Yeah, she uh, had, she had a, 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 a lot of time with Chris, and then yeah. uh, we found a dinner around uh, 7 p.m. I don't know what, what time she, she died, but we found her, like, 7 p.m. We found her dead, and we had to call uh, Fire and the rescue came over. Yeah. The hospital came over. Yep. And the, uh, the cops came over. The cops were like... Search in my house, Chris. Why would they search? Why'd they search your house? Huh? They wanted to see. Uh, they, were, they wanted to see if I had if I had anything illegal inside oh. the house and stuff like that. Oh, like like maybe she was doing illegal drugs or something. Yeah, that's what they were trying to find out. Probably that's not cool. I know, and my mom, Chris, she hasn't moved out of the bed since September she was in there, Chris. Oh, so she was just sitting in there the whole time. Yeah, and then the cop was over there, he passes his light and says, let me see if I can find any any stuff inside the house. Fuckers. Yeah, I know. Did you tell him that? Did you go, you fuckers? Nah, nah, because nah. I just left them alone because, you know, they shine a uh, flashlight down in my basement. And I say, can I help you, officer? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, looking around your uh, house. That's, uh, that's what they said to me, Chris. You should have pulled you should <coughs> you should have pulled it out like you do with Ray and be like, yeah, you want some of this Constantine dick? <laughs> yeah, but the thing, the, the, Chris, I'll be locked up in uh, jail if I ever get that done. Now no, listen, cop, Constantine. Right now yeah. in in the chat room, there's a girl named Melissa Lynn, and uh-huh. you, you should go. Hey, Melissa, you want some of this Constantine dick? Well, Chris, I might get banned from a uh, Facebook. You, you, you know they got new uh, new organization. Uh, yeah, Connie, you can say what you want, man. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Melissa, you you want to see that Constantine dick? Tip- tip- tip? Yeah. And it, it, Tanya, Tanya Frazier is in here too. You should say it to her too. Tanya, you want to see that Constantine pick? <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the girls. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Chris. <laughs> well, listen, I mean, maybe, maybe someday uh, uh, I'll get back to Philly and I'll hang out with you again, Connie, okay? Oh, I hope so, Chris, because it's boring here, Chris. I yeah. mean, I mean, it's fun ha- hanging out with Ray and the cat, but uh, <laughs> days, uh, the, the, the days are 
or, or, or either good or a boring Chris, but yeah. hey, Chris, but, but I want I, I watch a lot of uh, like and uh, TikTok videos, Chris. Oh, about oh, that, Chris. Oh, you, oh, you like TikTok videos now? No, I like like videos and I like TikTok videos. Yeah, they uh they make them my today, Chris. Yeah. Okay, but does he have cable TV there? I know you love yeah. to watch uh, Springer and stuff. Not well, well, Andy Chris Springer moved over to Channel Seventeen. His his old shows moved back over to Channel Seventeen again, Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like I don't like I, I don't like Jerry's uh, Judge Show. Do you? Ah, uh, I like it, Chris. You do. Yeah, I do, Chris. Uh, I don't think it's as good as the uh, uh, as the other, the original show, obviously. But Ray is uh, watching the uh, Steve uh, Harvey show now. Judge Steve uh, Harvey Chris is uh, is watching it. So, yeah, the Judge Steve Harvey show started tonight, Connie. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Now you gonna go I know, down? I'm gonna go you, you, you gonna go watch it with him? Yes, I am. Yeah. Are you going to show him your dick while you're watching it? Go, yeah, yeah. Here's some Constantine dick. Yes, I am, Chris. Good for you, dude. There's, yeah. nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Nah, Chris. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that at all, Chris. No, show him that Connie dick. I, I am. <laughs> with proud and integrity, Chris. Yeah, yeah, dude. You're the fucking man with that big, thick Connie dick, right? <laughs> yes, Chris. I am uh, the big fucking man with the big 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 yeah, his mom died right before, and it was a real, I mean, you know, if you listen to the show, he came on and was telling the story. It's kind of sad. But, you know, that kind of shit happens. You see the number on there, 513-813-7979. Uh, we're going to go until about 830 or so. Hey, Blake. Is that you? Blake? It's acting all fucked up again. Oh, Blake. Hello? I don't know why it's doing that. Blake. Hmm. I don't know. I was just talking to Connie. Now it's not working. I don't know. Some people's calls come through. Some people's don't. <laughs> Josh Judd wants to know for hiring. Absolutely motherfucking not. We don't hire on our uh, radio station. We just uh, fire. We're in new studios, though. We're kind of fat. Gober, like a, can you hear me? Yeah. I don't know what happened before. I don't know either. You're going late tonight. I'm normally in bed by now. I get up at 4.30. I get up at 3.15. Wait, so what are you doing? I'm, what do you mean? It's late. I know. It's a better time hey, to come by on. The way, that guy Ray's got a pretty sweet setup. You got a trust fund coming in. You watch dirty movies, and then you move Connie in there, see a slow adult, so you can show him your dick once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a perfect setup. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of jealous. Hey, Connie, come here. Look at my dick. <laughs> you, you know what, man? You're, you're telling me, would you, wouldn't you, if you were in that situation where you had money coming and didn't have to worry about, wouldn't you move Connie in and just put cameras in the house? That's a show. I absolutely would. Yeah. I, that is a show. I was thinking, actually, the brother. And the funniest thing is, like, <laughs> Connie goes, I'm not moving in with him. He's got depression. <laughs> 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 like that's like the worst thing you could ever have. Yeah. And actually, I kept thinking about uh, uh, the Onion. It put out a headline once, and it said, "Depression hits losers the hardest." And I was, just thinking, <laughs> I was well, just thinking about what the hell's going on in that house. I know. I it's like 
I don't know why Connie, well, I guess he lives for free no matter where he is, but, uh, you know, he doesn't like his brother. His brother didn't like how, uh, how he would come on our show and stuff. His brother, I guess, looks exactly like him. Very jealous, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, yo, Cobra, I got a question for you. Uh, when, when you had your kids, uh, two questions, were you in the delivery room and then did you, uh, did you go along? With, what was the situation with the baby shower? Anything there? Well, the baby showers both happened when I was working out of town. So, okay. I, yeah, I wasn't involved, but I was in the delivery room, but they put a big curtain up because I didn't want to see all the fucking carnage. Right. I, uh, I'm opting out of that because with the new COVID rules, you can't leave the room basically the entire time she's in there. Oh, and that could be hours. That It could be days. Are you kidding me? I, and I told her, I said, I, I can't be captive in a room. Like, that's just never going to work. And then, we, God forbid something goes bad, I'm like a nut. So I, I'm trying to just get out of the whole thing. Now, the baby shower, they got this new thing they're doing out there called a Jack and Jill baby shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where, yep. I'm, su I'm supposed to be involved in this and torture my friends with this. I yep. said, uh, <laughs> I, so I, I said, listen, I'm not doing that to anyone that I know. And anyone that you call your friend, it's a baby shower, Cobra. It's a shakedown. Yeah. You're basically, it's free, your free gifts. Over there and go, listen, you owe me money. Yeah. Dude, so it, it, said, it, it's better. It's better when your friend calls you and asks you if you want to help them move. Right, it's much better. I'd yeah. much rather do that. Yeah. Uh, so I call the whole thing off. I go, listen, put together a baby registry for this shower. Yeah. You know? And uh, she showed me the baby registry. She's like, it's thirty two hundred bucks worth of stuff. I go, okay, fine. I'll give you thirty five hundred to make this go away. Yeah. Well, and I just gave her the money. Just, uh, just bad when you Blake. put the whole thing together. It looks like you're trying to get money off of people. Just uh, just to tweet out the registry, and I'll and I'll I'll retweet it so everybody will buy you gifts. I'm not doing that. I don't want stuff from people. Why? You want you want to buy you want to buy something for me? Get I'll I'll take the money and I'll take it down to the washi washi and get fucking jerked off because she told me <laughs> six weeks where where she uh where she can't uh do anything after she has the kid. And I said I'm going to the washi washi, and she said that's all right. You know, my wife says the same thing. If I could find, I don't even know how to go, but I, I don't trust her. I think she's, that's a setup. It's a trap door. That's the pump fake. Yeah. You know, so is your sex dungeon now going to be a playroom? You know, everyone asks me that. <laughs> everyone really asks me that. You know, no, it's funny. I got a separate the, playroom. The, the room that I'm in right now, now it doesn't look any different up on uh, uh, the camera and stuff because behind me it's all the same. But over on this side, there's a wall and then it curves over and there's a door and stuff. That's all brand new. There's a wall in front of me now. That's all brand new. It used to be wide open. My wife moved her office because she works from home now into what was the playroom on the, uh, uh, it would be the second floor from here, uh, the main floor. And then the kids' playroom now is the other half of this basement. Um, now, this room that I'm in is all thick with, you know, soundproofing and stuff. There's soundproofing on the ceiling because the radio station was throwing out a bunch of stuff, so I took all of it. <laughs> so, so let it, me get this straight. You're you're walling yourself in, and it's, yep. the rooms are getting smaller and smaller. No. <laughs> Eventually... You're going to be in a broom closet somewhere. I, 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 I'm getting bigger and bigger. I'm, I'm going to be one of those people that have to cut out the side of the building. So now this bitch has got me. We had a one and a half that had a shower. And she goes, well, that's no good for the so I'm downstairs gutting the fucking bathroom and putting a tub in it. Because <laughs> she goes, I need to wash the kid in a fucking tub. And I said, wash that motherfucker in the sink. It's a little fucking kid. Yeah. That's right. My daughter, my, my 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 oldest was bathed in the uh, uh in the sink at the apartment, um, where my mom used to live. I mean, that's and that's that's what you do. Everywhere in my house, Cobra, fucking yeah. everywhere. 
dude, you're toast. There's no way this shit's going to last. What? Which part of it? You. With the kid or me in general? What do you mean? I'm going to die? What are you saying? No, you're, you're going to end up moving out. You'll be back with uh, you know your brother or something living in the basement. That was bandied about, too. That the idea of me getting my own apartment in the city. Wow. So this is a this is a pretty healthy relationship. Well, I need my space, man. Because she's gonna be here for three months with the fucking kid. And uh I set it up like an <laughs> oligarchy, right? Like I really don't have anything to do with the kid. I take care of her and then she takes care of the kid. It it like goes down the line. What when is the kid gonna be here? Three months. Can I broadcast uh, from the from the lobby of the of the uh, the hospital? I don't give a shit. I told her I'm like, listen, that fucking kid. I'm not dealing with shit. <laughs> like, as, as far as, hey, listen. I think you're gonna be a single mother. You're, no. gonna, you're gonna wake up and deal with the fucking kid. Dude, all, the, you know all this shit. I'm not dealing with shit. Life fucking sucks when you listen i i don't know if you were in portland yet when i had my kid but yeah i had it was over christmas i flew home and it was so exhausting flying from portland back to san antonio and then i'd finally get in at like 11 o'clock at night and i go to the house and then it's christmas we hang out for christmas and then like the day after christmas i was supposed to catch a plane and then shit started to you know happen uh uh you know where like all the 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 side panel like pain started coming in and all that shit. So I'm like, oh, here we go. And then that went on and on and on. I ended up missing work and stuff. And my daughter was born on the 29th, so it was days later, and it was so long and so exhausting. And then, I mean, nothing worse than okay, you just had a kid. That's cool. Well, I'm going back to Portland. I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 that's beautiful mm. nah man it was exhausting it still is now after the kid was born did you uh hold hands around a fountain with their no no <laughs> no i fucking love that story that story i can't i can't get enough of that <laughs> well blake coming up on thursday uh <laughs> Blake, once again, there's there's certain stories that Blake from Sales remembers from me, and then uh, that he'll request that to interview and have like a sit down one on one with somebody that was involved. The last time it was Scooter, uh, and you interviewed him about like me banging that chick in, in the in the the club that had no teeth and was on the bar stool, the broken bar oh, stool. Yeah. yeah. So you interviewed Scooter, and now. The last one was a story that you didn't even know about, about when I had sex with those girls in that fort in the woods while it was raining out. And my friend, my friend Coochie was the uh, phone screener. It was a Saturday night show. It was part time. And he was with me. And you said, I need to interview Coochie. <laughs> so I reach out to Coochie and he will be on with you Thursday at 825. It's like Barbara Walters interviewing Michael Jackson in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like finally the, the Queen of England is getting interviewed. It, it, it's an important interview. Well, it's funny because I like these stories, you know, they're all there. I just remember them. Like every time I talk to you, I start thinking, oh, shit, he'll love this one. And then I'll like kind of file it and then I'll forget about it. I need to start writing them down. But the Fort Sex one, I mean, I didn't think you were going to like it as much as you did, but uh, it was, that was a great time. We'll have to get you on with Darren, who didn't drink, but he would drive me around and encourage me to do shit. And we've got stories about double teaming chicks and all that stuff, so maybe that's down the road. I can picture you two goose eggs. With the, with the you two losers marching through the woods with a couple girls in search of a fort. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't in search of it. They just, knew where it was. <laughs> yeah, I just love that. And what kind of girls 
know of a fort that's available. <laughs> like, <laughs> and yeah, I could, I could go up to a hundred different girls out there and be like. Do you know where there's a fort somewhere? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just you saying fort is funny. But it was an old busted up fort and it had old like uh blankets in it and shit. They're all wet and moldy and I banged them on the <laughs> with, with, with a rubber? Like Yeah, I'm sure there on? was. I was really crazy about that kind of shit. Wait, is this back when girls had had pubes and shit? Like they might have had some muffs? Uh, I don't remember if these girls, one of them I think did, and that'll, we'll get into that when Coochie comes on because he yeah. reminded me yeah, of something. Yeah, I need a little bit of backstory here. Yeah, because, because Coochie, like, it, Coochie wasn't alone. You were gonna go? Well, Coochie, Coochie did just sit there. He, he got involved as well. And there's another one. Uh, we probably won't tell this on the radio, but Coochie and I, one night we're on the radio it was Saturday night and, uh, I would do Saturday nights. It was so fun on K rock in Syracuse. And people would call like crazy. Now, remember, radio back then was the, uh, uh, that was the original social media. So the phones, they would be lit all night. And we would get invited to parties. And one night we decided, yeah, let's go. And we showed up at this party. And it was like preppy people that were like, you would think, it's like, why are they listening to us? But we were just hanging out. And then uh, I was in one room talking to these dudes. And Coochie was in another room. And uh, there was, like, a bunch more women in there and stuff. And all of a sudden, one guy comes walking out and goes, uh, hey, man, you guys got to get going. And I just started laughing. I said, yeah, all right, man, cool. You know, I thought it was joking around. He goes, no, man, serious. Your your friend is trying to feel up on some fucking girls in there, and, and they're getting really pissed off. And he came walking Ooh. out with this guilty look, and, and we just left. We did that walk of shame out because it was all these dudes there. And then on the way home, I'm driving, and I'm like, dude, what did you do? And he goes, oh, I was just trying to use my finger on some girl. <laughs> and I guess it was her boyfriend that got all pissed off about it. <laughs> what a fucking, oh, the boyfriend's a tool. Mm. <laughs> Cock blocker. What a, what a creep. What, what is he just groping women? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's coochie. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, uh, what do you, hey, you got some prostitutes we can call? You were talking about. Let's yes, go. I have some queued up right now, some phone numbers, all right? I told Blake, all I right. said, I'll, I'll try to conference him with some prostitutes tonight. And yeah. uh, and we'll we'll see. I got. Let's see. Hopefully, you can hear these calls, all right? All right. All right. This girl's name is Serena. They're in another city. They're West Coast, all right? Hopefully Where'd you get these numbers from? I'm not going to say. Oh, come on. All right, text me later. I need them now. Can you hear the phone ringing, though? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can hear it. All right. <laughs> of course not. The fuck. Yeah, I know. It's the same. When we used to do prostitution prices right, it take forever. I know. I was just going to say, there was a time where when we would do pro prostitution, prostitution prices right on the radio, it was always fun. Uh, you know, but you would only hear the finished product, but it was hours of us calling these girls on the air or in the studio trying to get them to fucking answer. Oh. And, but the and gay guys dial. pick up on the first ring. Yeah, the gay guys are desperate. They're like, hello? <laughs> the best was you would get you would get a gay guy go hello and, and then you're leaving go how much for an hour <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing he would say yeah uh yeah right Pro to it prostitution price <laughs> right used to be a lot easier now it's hard you got to go to different websites and stuff this is Dude, i can't get i've been trying to find prostitutes this is lynn Okay. What the fuck? This is what sucks. This would yeah, be see the Google. They all have the Google phone numbers where you got to text them. Yeah, you're right. Right. 
How do you know that there, this is like this is like a legit voice call phone number? Yeah, I don't know. This sucks. Get some gay guys. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Yo, okay. <laughs> Do you expect anyone to believe that? <laughs> well, well, I don't know um, if this website has. Oh, the text now subscriber. Yeah, See, you're right. The text now subscriber. I told you. What are you on? Uh, alligator escort? Escort alligators? We are no. sorry. An application error has occurred. Yeah. No, it's it's that. Uh, Erotic monkey. Hang on, let me write this down. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are uh, these are uh, uh, whores in uh, Vegas. Okay. Oh, okay. So they might pick up. Yeah, but that text now shit. They only I know. Get text messages. Yeah. Well, let me... oh, yeah. Hello. Baby. Yes. Are you downtown? Uh, no, I'm on the ship. How much for an hour? Two fifty. Okay, listen, I don't want to have sex. Um, I just want to do some, some freak shit. Are you down for some freak shit? Uh, sure. All right, I want to eat a hot dog out of your pussy. Okay. Still same price? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm, but I also, I need you to, I got a little bit of a foot fetish. I want to lick your toes. You lick my toes. We'll do a little butt stuff. Um, sure. All right. That's cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm even willing to pay a little bit extra. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, when was the last time you had your period? A couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, what about some girlfriend experience shit? Do you mind if I, if we go, uh, bareback? Um, prefer covered. Yeah, you prefer, you prefer I wear a condom? I would too if I were you. Are you tested? Can you what? Tested? Yes. Oh, good. You got paperwork on that? No, because my purse was recently stolen, and it was in there. No, that's my fine. That's fine. Else. Do you have any of the used tampons that you use? Oh, yeah. I keep all of them. No, I don't have any of them. No? Are you, were you a white girl, black girl? you sassy. I can tell you're sassy. Did you Black not see pictures? No, yeah, I didn't get your description. White. You're a white girl? Can mm -hmm. you act like a black girl? No. You're not willing to dance around a boiling pot of water? No. No? Mm -mm. Do you own a spear? She hung up, fuckface. <laughs> what are you calling me a fuckface for? Because you're being like a dick. <laughs> what do you mean I'm being a dick? Rejected. Oh, I'm, I'm calling. I'm calling uh, uh, chicks from uh, uh, from Cincinnati now. <laughs> What do you mean I'm being a dick? You know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? The number you dialed is not a working number. Damn, none of these, <laughs> these, these fucking Cincy chicks don't pay their bills. <laughs> what, what do you mean? You, <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 
You know what? Somebody just gave me a good one. Uh, <laughs> um, I didn't want to stay on this late. Now I'm fucking staying on too late. Let's see, these are all uh, hey, one more, one these more. are all Cincinnati girls. Okay, hold on here. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't know where this girl's from. Hold on. All right, let's try this one. Here we go. This is you. Come on. People do not realize how many hours we would spend fucking doing this shit. The text now subscriber you were trying to see text yeah. now. Yeah. Well, this girl here does anal, it says. And she's here in Cincinnati, okay? I may just save her number. <laughs> You love anal. Yeah. You really love that. I do. This is all you. That first girl was a trooper. <laughs> I had Thursday had a, a spear. I know what you <laughs> said. Text now. God damn it. See? Text now shit. I know. Well, here is uh here here's a two girls special. Uh two chicks. One his name is Lay uh, her name is Lala and Chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. T a two girls special for you. This this one chick, this one chick in her picture, she looks like she's trying to take a shit. <laughs> oh, she's 40. She'll answer. <laughs> yeah. The text now subscribe. Oh, now hold on a minute. This one chick, call, she texted back. All right, let's call her back. Yeah. We're going to call her back. Oh. Oh, she, yeah. She's a, here. Hello? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm telling her to call. Maybe she'll call back. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's uh, try. This is the 40-year-old chick that looks like she's taking a shit in the picture, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> People on on here are saying they use Craigslist. Craigslist doesn't do this anymore. God damn it. Does it? I know if, if it Please does, your ask the people for where where it's listed. Yeah, I know. I'm oh, I'm on this one website here. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is yet because people. Oh, we can call s. We can call Rub and Tugs. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you downtown? Not far from it. I'm sorry, what's that, baby? Not far from it. Oh, not far from it. Okay. What What are you trying to get into tonight? Who is this? I'm Blame. looking for a date. Are you a cop or affiliated with law enforcement in any way, including undercover or confidential informant? I can't hear you, babe. She hung up. She wanted to know if you were a cop. <laughs> oh. I could barely hear her. Yeah, she was mumbling. Here's a yeah, massage. Did you hear her? Yeah, barely. Here's a massage place. All right. 
Hello? Yes, Hello? ma. Hello? I'm looking for a massage. Yes. Where are you guys located? 1718 East Scarborough Road. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm looking for a soft touch. You guys do soft huh? touch? What you say? Soft touch. What a soft touch? Like gentle, where, you, where you're gentle. What a gentle? Are you willing to touch my dick? No, 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 only massage here. All right, are you willing to suck my dick? Ah? Uh? Suck my dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's just like old times. <laughs> <laughs> just like old times. Uh, <coughs> I think we found something we should do every week. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, my <laughs> fucking stomach hurts. <laughs> uh, here, here's another here's another one. This is called the okay. Jen this is called the Jenny Spa. Okay. Hello, Matthew. Yes, Ma. Hmm? Where where are you located? You wanna what to say? You want a massage? Yes, I need a massage, please. You wanna come in now, okay? Not that yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I read a book. Do you have young girls? You can come here and try, okay? Yes, my dick. Will you suck my dick? I don't know. That's not a no. <laughs> my nutsack. Miss. <laughs> hey, you're right. It wasn't a no. No, it certainly wasn't. <laughs> I, I would have went to that place. I know. <laughs> this place is. This is called Sweet Massage. All right. Then I gotta go. Make it a good one. You got to make it a good one. Right. Okay. Hello? Yes, I need sweet massage. Ooh. <laughs> 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 one more, one more, one more. <laughs> they knew you were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Okay. Oh, this okay. this one's the Kiwi Spa. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> the Kiwi Spa. <laughs> Just yell at her. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Yes, yeah, the, the Kiwi Spa. Yeah, you wanna come in? Yeah, I was in there yesterday. You remember me? Oh, yes, yeah, so today you're coming? Yeah, you suck my dick! My fucking dick! <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they fucking... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go. Uh, All right, I'll be here. All right, later. <laughs> All right, next uh next Tuesday night 8 o'clock. Uh we'll co we'll come back on here. Maybe we'll do that again, uh but we'll have you like get on the phone. We'll pick somebody to do it and stuff. That'll be kind of fun, right? How great will that be?
Chris 